Hey, what's up guys? Trex here. Welcome to Proteus, the game by Ed Key and David Kanaga. This is from 2013, and it's basically just a little exploration game. Or so you may think. Really, there's a, a lot more to it than just walking around an empty little island. Let's just get in real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, in Proteus, you start off in this in the water, and then you find this island, you have to go to the island, and all you really do is walk around and explore the dynamic music environment. Ah, uh, there's a sun. And there's, there's no UI, there's no mouse cursor unless you want one, there's no run button, there's no jump button, there's nothing. You you just walk around, and ha how, how is this entertaining at all? R really, there's a lot more to to this game than that. There's structures, there's easter eggs, there's a story, there's seasons, there's glitches where the water ripples appear on the land apparently. But there's so much more to Proteus than just walking around. It, it has dynamic music which is incredible. Listen to that, listen to that, look at that, look at those chickens, look at those. Anything you do and everything you do will affect the music that you listen to while you play this game, which is incredible. It's just so surreal and peaceful. It's quite, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Immersive. Proteus is a very immersive game. The trees sort of always face your direction. Actually, no, they don't, never mind. They're 3D. Uh, particles do, which is interesting. But there's, there's seasons, there's architecture, there's structures, there's easter eggs, there's stories to go on, lore. There's just so much more to Proteus than really meets the eye. See, here we are in this. And look at that, the music has changed into this environment that we're in right now, where there's some white stuff on the ground, presumably snow, dead trees. <sighs> it's a very, very peaceful world, Proteus is. Let's just follow this path and see what happens. At least I think this is a path. Very interesting, very interesting. This game, I, I don't think it really works on Windows 8. On my laptop, whenever I tried to play it, it wouldn't work. But now on my Windows 7 computer, speaking of my computer, I now have a second monitor, which is awesome. But on my Windows 7 computer, it works. So if you have a Windows 8, it might not work. Which really stinks. Look at this, look at this. That just launched a ton of pic- Ah, uh, it's, it's adding to the music as you walk. The dynamic music in this game is incredible. It's one of my favorite things about it. Steam has a new music player, and if it could do Proteus music, that'd be great. This game got an 80 Metascore, I believe, probably because people got bored of it or something. But look at that, look at that. Look at that tree. It's, oh, look at that. These particles, when they fall off the tree, they leave... They leave prints on the ground, see? If we can capture one doing it. But they're doing it. If you watch long enough, you'll see. <sighs> so peaceful. I, I really like this game. I am more than a little in love with this game. Let's go let's go find some bunnies or some frogs. Because there are animals in this game. I think the art style is really what makes this game different. Oh, sorry guys. I, there haven't been any videos over the past few days because I've had an extremely, extremely busy week. So I decided that Proteus would be a good game to make a video on because I haven't had time to make any videos. I'd like to make a peaceful one. <sighs> There's just so much to do in this game. Oh, what is that? Is that a frog? No, that's a mushroom by the looks of it. Ooh, look at this. Look at this architecture. This... Is this a cemetery? Huh. See? See, there's so much more to this game than just wandering ar around looking at pretty colors. Look at this. These are these are gravestones by the looks of it. And this one's this one's gonna be a zombie. Ah, uh, is that a frog? Yep, that's a frog. Get the frog. The frogs the frogs are awesome. They make really cool sounds to add to the music. Let's go look, let's go look at this cemetery look, real quick. Look at this. So this just this cemetery alone tells a story. I'm probably sounding like an English teacher at the moment, trying to find more meaning than there really is, but it probably says that this island was once inhabited or something. People once lived here, now it's just empty wildlife, plants and all overgrown, but 
Why is this here? What's the point of this? There's, there's so much more. It really leaves you asking questions and wondering why this game. I think that's why it's so great. The environment, the colors, and the story, pretty much. And, and it's fantastically made. There's very few bugs with it. But gorgeous programming. Gorgeous programming. I don't know which engine this game was made in. I suspect Unity. But, no, yeah, I suspect Unity for this sort of thing. I don't know, though. Ah, uh, look at that sun setting. There's seasons- ooh, there's something on top of that hill. Let's go check it out. There's seasons in the, this game. I believe you can beat the game by going through the seasons and finding stuff. I, I can't remember. I haven't ever played through it. There's a frog up there. Hello, Mr. Frog. Are you going to make some music for us? Uh, the frogs really add life to this game. Just cheery. Let's go see what this thing is. Hello, Mr. Frog. Okay, so what is this? Is it just a rock? Sadly, it's just a rock. <sighs> Look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Tell me that's not so surreal. Oh, it's an owl! Hello, Mr. Owl. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Where'd he go? Ooh. Oh, oh, it's flying away. No, owl. Come back. Come back. Ah, uh, it's another one. Just look at this. There's the moon. Uh, this game is so peaceful. It, it just makes me want to go to sleep. Look at that. Oh, it's a frog. Ah, it, this really just... Good night, hobbits. Good night.